Zema songs zime ziko censored like you can't even play vizuri. I don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. Like that's the world we're living in now. So our first guest so a lot of good things. Uh they're from an NGO called Somo. Here to talk about it is Maureen and Makena. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's talk about Somo. What is Somo? Somo. So from the name itself, it's a Swahili word uh, which pretty much involves around reading Kusoma, which mm -hmm. is um, so what we do, we are a business accelerator that operates in low-income communities like Kibera, Kayole, other villages like in Kisumu. And uh, we usually take through entrepreneurs in those communities um, through a 12-week bootcamp training where they get to get skills like uh, business skills, financial, bookkeeping. grow and expand. So we have the main training program, which is known as Buruka and Asomo. And then we have another basic one, which mostly like Mamambogas go through, known as Boost Business Somo. Um, and the reason why it's like that, it's because Mamamboga has to make a choice. Mm. Uh, kapo, mm. I need to feed my family and mm. also need to get these skills so that I can be able to upgrade uh, my family and community. So that's pretty much about the training. Um, after the training, we usually have like a subset of these entrepreneurs who go through our acceleration program um, for two years. Where What's the criteria of choosing who can go to? Uh, the main training program. Yeah. So we have like a, a one month outreach program mm -hmm. that happens where we go to these different communities we operate in. Mm -hmm. So pretty much we are like in 16 communities, both in Nairobi and Kisumu. And we're yet to actually go to Mombasa as we are speaking. Um, so we have uh, an outreach coordinator who goes, talks about SOMO, shares uh, the different things SOMO does and what it's trying to impact. Um, after which uh, they either have the option of applying through our website. So there's an application form on our website. Mm. Or they can use like a hard copy paper that we leave there. Um, they fill out and then they either have the option of dropping it at our offices in the different hubs. Or the outreach coordinator could go back and pick them and uh, just go through uh, some sort of interview and then after which um, a subset are now chosen to go through the 12 weeks. Before we continue with uh, all that Somo does for entrepreneurs, I can see um, uh, you do training, financing, business coaching and of course market access for entrepreneurs. Now Makena, you're a beneficiary of this. So when did you join Somo? Uh, I joined Somo last year, yeah. that was around uh, September, mm -hmm. uh, I was there for the three months, like she said, uh, the training for the boot camp. After that, um, he like pitch for you to, for them to, for the judges to know like if you're qualified, if you can join the acceleration program. Um, so after you've pitched, uh, you wait for like a month, then they let you get the results. That's what did you I have to do to, you know, to be confident enough to say, let me be judged and see if I qualify? <laughs> One, um, I'm passionate about farming mm -hmm. and um, lack of finances and also um, a stable place for doing business and uh, exposing myself to the community and letting them know what I do and how much I want to help women who are not employed was part of the niche. Mm. So uh, immediately I got to know about Somo, I joined them and then I went through it uh, Yeah, and that's how I got there. And um, right now I'm in the acceleration program. I'm going for my second year next year. Your second year? Yeah. And uh, thus far, Maureen speaking as uh, someone who's been watching from the outside in, mm -hmm. Makena's progress, what can you say? What I can say is, number one, it's an inspiration to see an, a woman mm -hmm. who actually ventures into a farming business. That's number one. And looking at a farming business operating in a peri-urban kind of region. Because most people uh, relate farming to Ushago. So if somebody says that a farmer, the first thing comes in, uko Ushago, gani ama unatoka village gani. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. And then when she started the training, there's just something about her that sparked a particular type of interest mm -hmm. that personally I tracked throughout the training. Mm -hmm. um, her attendance in class, her participation in class, uh, doing constant market um, research and coming back and just asking questions. It was that oomph 
and willingness passion. and the passion yeah. she had that actually saw her through the three months did a, a, a very awesome pitch because we have different types of judging so we have the one-on-one -on -one, uh, judging where she gets to stand talk about her business why she's passionate and what she wants to get out of it and then we have other business advisors international advisors also get to see her pitch and then also decide so you see these are two different sides that go to see her story mm -hmm. and how she's passionate about her business and what kind of impact she wants to have in the community and here she is nice yes <laughs> inspiring story before we continue with your story because i would also want you to you know talk to people back at home yeah. to explain your experience in somo and why they should join let me ask this is it 100 percent free for the people to join yes it's a hundred percent uh free mm -hmm. um apart from it just being free we have people who support and believe in someone's vision and mission mm -hmm. and uh, they either choose to support one or two um, entrepreneurs who go through uh, to cater for different costs and expenses but for any uh, you just all you need to do is identify your business apply and ensure it falls under uh, the categories of social impact either it's education health employment environment if it falls under those it means that you are eligible and then what you're just going to do is drop your application come in for the interview mm -hmm. shows how you're passionate and actually that your business can have that type of impact in the communities that you you will be operating and let's from. talk a little bit more about some uh we were talking about you know the founder mm -hmm. and uh where she came from when did you join somo um, personally, I joined SOMO last year as an entrepreneur trainer and mentor. Mm. So it was just pretty much going to train for one hour on Friday. And then this year I came on a different capacity as a partnership associate. Mm -hmm. um, so I joined uh, the um, February this year. So I've been with them since Feb till date. Mm -hmm. And pretty much my work entails, apart from now training the entrepreneurs, I'm also looking out um, for individuals, organizations, institutions, and even governmental bodies that would want to support either our training, the different programs, create more market access for our entrepreneurs to be able to sell their, program, uh, their products. Because mm -hmm. our program is not just about giving you the skills and then you're like, you're good, you're gone. It's a whole package. Mm -hmm. You get the skills, you, follow -ups. you get funding, mm -hmm. you get mentorship and coaching. We also try our level best to mm -hmm. provide you market access. So, mm -hmm. you make use of what we give you. Back to you, McKenna. Yeah. So far, what can you say about your business ever since uh, you know joining Somo? Uh, let me start first of all. When we began the year, mm. because there was Corona, things were bad. Yeah. But after this, when they opened the border and I was able to access the farm, it's in Goliba. Mm -hmm. You see, the borders are closed. But mm -hmm. after that, things are doing well. Yeah, we've, be fu we've been funded. When you join the acceleration program, you're funded, mm -hmm. and uh, the farm is doing well. And I'm also to do the byproducts. Um, since I'm producing the raw materials, it's become easier for me to also do the byproducts. Yeah. Nice. What would you say to someone who wants to join SOMO right now? I think. Right over there. I think it's the <laughs> best idea. So long as you're passionate for what you're doing, like you don't need to join SOMO just for the three months, mm. uh, thinking that I'm going to get some money. It's not supposed to be the idea. The idea is supposed to be like you have something that you're looking up to, like something you'll want to crack in the future. Mm. Yeah, like it's a good idea. I'll advise everyone. Something sustainable. Some, yeah, it's very sustainable. Mm. Because you're expected after some point you pick up on your own. If you're passionate about something, even after that, you're supposed to pick up on your own. Be, able, be able to take to care of yourself, yourself within the business exactly. and take care of the business as well. Yeah. Yes, I do agree with that. And uh, Maureen, mm -hmm. uh, is there any mentorship program that uh, is coming up or something, some event someone is involved in uh, that people can join? Um, so yes, uh, 5th of December um, at the Alchemist uh, Westlands, we will be having like a Somo Soko. So ni kama Soko penyutapata wanabiashara. So you're all welcome. Just come and see the different entrepreneurs with the different businesses, products and services that they're offering. Um, come join them, come hear their stories, support them by buying um, from them because that's what they're actually also aiming. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody is, is welcomed. Um, uh, and yeah, come learn more about what we do. Join the family, join the community and we make the world a better place. Because one thing about Kenya is it's, a, it's the heart of the entrepreneurial 
world. Mm. Kenyans have that oomph about business. Mm. It's just that um, some of the people have access to and all these things, yeah. some do not. And that's where we come in. So yeah. you just need to have that attitude. You need to have that kind of mindset mm. for you to go through what McKenna went through. And she actually did uh, one of the recent, um, we usually have like co uh, pitching competitions and she won mm. that in pitch competition. I'm just nice. so proud of her. Nice. Yes. Thank so you. you get to see. So me. Uh, come on. I like on. SOMO and uh, its initiative because it's not just about funding. It's not just about improving the ideas of the entrepreneurs. It's also about creating business people yeah yeah yes there's something i want you guys to do before you go okay you know uh most of the time we talk about boy child boy child to no no and okay however <laughs> if we're uh, being realistic mm -hmm. we really want more female and women entrepreneurs we really do we need them uh, for the benefit of our country mm -hmm. so to the young ladies watching you back at home any last words for them maureen can I can go first. Okay, you can go first. Come on, number four is yours. Okay. Um, for me, one of the most important things that I've realized in this life, being a single mom, is that self-reliance is everything. So if you have an opportunity, go for it. Yeah. Do not waste your time thinking that, oh, I'll be waiting for some guy who's going to come and provide for me. Like, go for it. Whether you're a single mom or you have your kids or something, like me, I'm a single mom. I have two boys. Go for it. Things are going to work so well for you. You just need to be patient. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Maureen? Uh, what I'd just like to say is life is very short. You're the author to everything that you want to do. Mm. And for all the young girls, women, ladies, you have what it takes. Mm. You just need to convince yourself, allow yourself to be around people who can actually uplift you. Because mm. once you're uplifted, what remains is don't fall back down. Just go on with that same energy, that same spirit, and Fix find your ways. Crown. Exactly. Mm. Find ways to find those opportunities. And once you get them, just hold them. Don't let them go. Mm. And I'd just like to um, finish off with one of my favorite quotes um, from Maya Angelou. It's a quote that gets me up in the morning. It's a quote that when I see her do what she's doing, and the kind of motivation she gives me to want to continue doing the work I do with Somo, I never lose hope. And that's just the main thing. Mm. So the quote goes, my mission in life is not to merely survive. Because most of us, you know, in this life, you just want to survive mm. and get through the today, tomorrow, the YOLO. It's fun. It's nice at that point. But you want to thrive. And to do so, you need some compassion some passion, some humor, and some style. And mm. they get style through Somo Africa. Mm -hmm. So go out there and thrive. <laughs> Do not survive. I love yes. that pitch. Yes. If, uh, if you've ever had a pitch, <laughs> that was a pitch. <laughs> Somo Somo has a website? Yes. Uh -huh. Which um, is? SomoAfrica.org. SomoAfrica.org. Yes. And you can also get us uh, in our uh, social media platforms, mm. Somo, Somo Africa underscore org. Mm. Yes. Uh, camera number four, if we can just look at, have a look at that logo as Maureen tells us what she sells and where we can find it and buy it. Nishke? Do you know? Do you know Izzy Yeah, Izzy yeah. Bida. For now, I'm still um, doing them from home. Mm. I'm yet to like rent a place or have my own production place. Mm -hmm. I have things like uh, hot bullets. That's the hottest chili there is. Mm -hmm. I have... Uh, Did you bring some? Food. I love chili. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> you can still keep in touch. Yes, I'll mm. I can bring some, yeah. Yeah, we have things like uh, the normal chili powder. We mm -hmm. have mango pickle. The mango pickle has chili as well. It's one of the best-selling products. It has canola oil, mm -hmm. yeah, which is known to have the omega stuff, omega mm. 3, 6, and 9. Mm. Yeah, among those... Is it lunchtime? I'm get, my <laughs> mouth is watering. <laughs> I want to see this uh, I want to see these products. Sure, I mm. will. <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you so much for coming through, talking about SOMO. And I'm so happy to see the initiative is actually working. Thank you for coming, Maureen. And uh, McKenna, yeah, sure. we appreciate you. Well, uh, before we go, so today you're doing something special for the fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm really laughing. So um, I want you guys, it's uh, uh, okay, everyone, uh, to ask Mike one question. Not just Mike, uh, Mike, Mike as well. 
Wacha na mimi. Mm. Um, si umesa hao. Si umesa hao. Wacha na mimi. You so, see what we ask, go through here. <laughs> as yeah. a bike, one question he has to answer honestly. Like I square business. Uh, no, it's uh, not business. Very personal. Mm-hmm. Womanly. Yes. Are you dating? I'm married. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from what you're doing, is there something else you're doing outside work that people might not be knowing? Actually, a lot. Uh, but in terms of music, it's yeah. It's your time, it's your time, it's your time, bro. Production and, uh, yeah, such and such. Let me say such and such. <laughs> we don't need to reveal everything right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you, Neshke, for coercing them to, you know, yeah, asking we, questions. Yes, we need this, we need this. We need the truth from We don't oh, need oh, it. Pizza. We really don't. It, it's good to, to keep some things to yourself, yeah? No, don't you know. agree? No, they know. No, they know. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be back after this.